as well as a heavily revised interior that definitely need some, needed some revisions, I have to say. It is a palladium silver metallic exterior with smart key access on the front and passenger door. With the MB Tex leatherette interior, power lumbar, and your power driver seat controls, and a power adjustable headrest as well. Now stepping on into the interior, it's kind of a very Spartan looking interior and it's a little dated, however build quality and materials are definitely superb, of course. Very nice. Now you do have a 7-speed automatic transmission, down for drive, of course, up for reverse. And you do have a rear view camera with guidance lines and push for park. And you do have manual shiftability via the paddle shifters. And let's go ahead and cut on the lights and the hazards too. All windows are fully automatic in the GLK. And Let's go ahead and pop the hood, check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators and you do have blind spot monitoring as well. Roof rack. Now coming to the front end is where you can really see the angular design of the GLK. But you do have halogen headlights. HIDs are an option. Very bold and aggressive front end. I kind of like it. Now under the hood of the smallest SUV from Mercedes, you would find a three and a half liter V6 engine which is very potent producing 302 horses with 273 pound-feet of torque earning a decent fuel economy rating of 19 in the city and 25 on the highway. It's a very refined engine, very refined powertrain and paired with the 7-speed automatic transmission makes for a wonderful pair. Now pricing of the GLK starts at around $37,000 with the 3.5 liter V6. Now if you want the 4MATIC all wheel drive system, you're looking at about $40,000 and of course there's many options and packages to get with the GLK. And then if you want the diesel engine with the all wheel drive system, you're looking at about $39,000 with the 2.1 liter four cylinder diesel engine. Now competitors of the GOK for the 2015 model year include the Lexus RX, the Audi Q5, as well as the BMW X3. Now this particular GOK costs $49,635 and like I said, EPA estimates, you're looking at about 19 in the city and 25 on the highway. Now coming to the rear, you have full LED tail lamps with LED turn signal indicators. And I'm a big fan of the dual exhaust tips and the way they're designed. Rear window wiper with the rear window defroster as well.
power windows, power mirrors, power door locks of course, and your memory seat settings for three people. Now of course your armrest is nice and soft to the touch with nice contrast stitching and your upper door panel is very high quality too. And let's go in here what kind of soundtrack that three and a half liter V6 makes. Very nice, it actually doesn't sound too bad. Now build quality and materials of course are really good in this car. Of course it's a Mercedes Benz. However, I am noticing that there isn't anything like stitching on the dash. I mean you do have stitching on the armrest and stitching right here as well. But there's no stitching right here, no stitching right here and that's kind of the latest trend nowadays. Um, I think that's where they kind of cost cut a little bit there. But coming to your main head unit here you have the Mercedes-Benz command system and it's all controlled by this dial right here. Now it's a little dated I have to say but it works very well it's very simple and if it ain't broke don't fix it right? But I think it could be a little bit broke bigger I have to say it's just a little on the small side but the rendering is very great the graphics are good too and in all honesty I really like it because it's really good to use on a daily basis like on your commute to work or on your way home from work but you do have Mercedes-Benz apps internet radio as well serious weather And you do have an AM, FM, XM satellite radio. Different presets. Bluetooth streaming audio. And for 2013, um, the GLK was updated with tweeter air vents. And I really like the range of adjustment they have, and I'm actually quite a big fan of them. I really like the way they look, and I like them on the new Mercedes CLA as well. Now you do have automatic climate control too. Heated seats as well. Now one gripe I do have about this center stack is I wish they would get rid of these buttons on the side here. Um, they just been using this for I don't know how long. They've been using it for quite a while now. We do have an auto dimming rear view mirror, SOS safety connect, as well as a panoramic sunroof. Now as far as visibility goes out of the GLK, I really like it because there's lots of glass area all around. The A pillar isn't thick at all. And there's just much glass area. However, the C pillar back there is a little bit thick, but um, it's definitely better than the Lincoln MKC. It's better than the Audi Q5 with their sloping roof lines in the back. The GLK remains as a very boxy vehicle, so I think that helps out a lot with visibility. Now let's get to the interior design. Now the interior design is. Well, it's very elegant and it does have somewhat of a sporting feel. I think it's just a little bit Spartan. Um, but it definitely does have a very high quality feel, which is the most important thing out of a Mercedes. But it's just not my personal taste. Now, coming to your steering wheel controls, your T 
TFT display in the center right there is all controlled right here and then your infotainment and your head unit is all controlled right here and including your voice recognition, your stereo mounted audio controls, your Bluetooth phone controls. Now I really love the steering wheel design of the GLK. I just, I love the grip of it. I love just how it just looks. It just looks very um, sporty even though this isn't really the most sportiest SUV in the world and it really matches with this right here I have to say I really like it now coming to your display in the middle right here it shows different vehicle information including your fuel economy data and what direction of travel you're going and of course what radio station you're on and your telephone and different driver assistance settings including your lane keep assist, your blind spot monitoring, and Distronic Plus, and your tire pressure monitoring system. You have different settings like your ambition lighting, just many different vehicle settings. Now as far as the instrument cluster goes, I quite like it a lot. I just really like how simple it is. And I think they've been using this kind of gauge cluster for quite a while now, but it works for me. Now you do also have different driver selectable modes. You have a sport mode and an eco mode as well. Now as far as the ride and the handling go in the GLK, now let's get to the handling. The handling is not gonna be the sportiest SUV, however. But it's going to go around the corners when you need it to. It's going to handle pretty well when you want it to. It's not going to be the sportiest SUV. It's not like the Infiniti or the BMW X3. Now the ride, however, with that somewhat sporty feel, it provides a smooth and compliant ride, somewhat of a Lexus. And it definitely has best of the both worlds here. And that's what I really think that the GLK, why the GLK sells very well is because it kind of offers the best of both worlds in the ride and handling department. Now the seats in the GLK, I really like them a lot. They're very supportive, very comfortable too, even though they're leatherette, but leather is an option. And you do have a little storage cubby down here. Cup holders and your center console which you will find a USB port and a iPod adapter. Nice soft touch armrest too with nice stitching. Alright and let's go ahead and shut it down. Let's go ahead and check out their rear seat legroom as well as the trunk capacity. Now coming back here in the trunk, you do have a 115 volt power outlet back here and a low storage cubby right there and the rear seats do fold down to maximize cargo room as well. But you do have a power tailgate. Now coming back here, the rear materials do follow through. Still a very padded armrest with nice stitching and pretty padded on the upper door panel as well. Now back here you have dual mat pockets, rear air vents, a center folding armrest with cup holders.